Now, before starting, what I would do, you got all these leads. You got all those leads. Don't worry about that right now. But I will point out this. The, the things that you see in front of you, these brass standoffs, um, basically, you should get some that's already in there and you should come with the case. They screw into here. Notice the row on the top, the three there, in the center, three there, and at the bottom, there's three down here. Now, if you look on the motherboard, I'll hold this up to the light. Oh, let's see. Oh, my camera! Oh no, where's it going? Those three holes you see that's illuminating through, there's three holes in the center, and there's three holes at the bottom. Now, I cannot stress this enough because this happened to me before. Use only the brass standoffs that you need. Don't put them in every hole in there. Otherwise, on the back of the motherboard, you see all these little metal pieces? Yeah, they're going to touch one of them and it's going to short it and you won't be able to use this computer. So use only the, the standoffs that you need. So there's three holes up here, there's three holes in the center, three holes on the bottom, and one on the side. I forgot to mention that. Now, whenever you put the motherboard into the, the tray, the I still call it a tray, have this flat down, you know, just have that flat down, put the motherboard in there, and don't forget that I.O. shield plate that goes back here. You should go in from here and here, and you put it in there, and it should lock in place or snap in place. Once you get the motherboard in there, next thing you can work on, well, let's see, next thing you will work on is putting that video card in there. There's expansion slots at the bottom, seven expansion slots, so make sure if your video card is going to be on the third one right here make sure you have that open and usually they come in screwed on just unscrew with a Phillips head screwdriver take out that part then you know stick your whatever you need in there sound card video card whatever um now next thing let's see it's all cockeyed on me Shit. Ah, that's why my camera's all weird anyways whenever you install a video card Use, use the first PCI Express one, PCI Express slot. That should should line it up. The way you know it's PCI Express, because it's short here, long here, and it has this and this right there. So it does not fit in a PCI slot because it's long here, short here. But this one's short here, long here. So what you gotta do is, you know, you line it up, stick it in. Gotta raise it a little bit because it's not in the case and it should lock into place like so then if you have sound card you stick it in there you have ethernet you know um pci slot ethernet or whatever that's there too um depending on your computer i don't know if it's already ha if it already has the ethernet ports or you have to use another one now i want to remove this right there there we go now when installing hard drives, right here, let me get my connector. Ah, uh, come on, don't tangle up on me now. Okay, there we go. Your connector, your serial ATA connector, they should go on things right here, like that. So they only go in one way, and you just get a visual look, and it locks in that way. It can't go in backwards, as you can tell. It only goes in one way, and you can route this wherever you want. Then find on your hard drive where that goes. It uh, like like I said, that goes in one way too. Now you have a choice of connecting the Molex or the Celia ATA power. Do not ever, 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 ever put them both at the same time. So it's either or. So. You either get your Molex connector, which looks something like this, connect that in there, or if you want, you can get one of these things that usually comes with your motherboard, Molex to Serial ATA adapter, you just connect those from the, to the Molex, then your Serial ATA power connector goes in like 
like that. See? Do I have to repeat that? I hope not. And that's how you put the hard drive in. Then, with your computer, comes the hard drive cage. Comes the hard drive cage. I would strongly recommend put it this way and then stick it in as far as you can and then there should be on the side the holes should line up then you can put the screws into there and I assume you guys are very knowledgeable how to do that so I don't have to show you that because I don't have enough screws because they're all missing or whatever you know what to do or however the case um, However the case comes, like with a hard drive cage, or you stick it in there manually, or, you know, etc, 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 just do it the way you think it should work. Some people, the hard drive sits in this way, some sit in that way. Like I said, every case is different. So, just go by what you think is right. And, uh, that's the hardware part of, uh, doing all that like I said the toughest part is putting those connector switches on there the power switch reset switch etc etc and then of course when you connect the power there's the main pin the 24 pin connector get the Molex right here you either have a 4 or 8 pin connector here too and if your video card comes with it you'll have a 6 pin connector or you have a Molex to six pin adapter and uh, just do it from there and of course you got this this is the old one this is IDE you connect it you connect the power then on the front you open the door little shammy whammy you know you see I made space already just go ahead and uh, slide that in some of them you can go ahead and slide this in in there or if some cases they come with a thing you screw onto here first then you slide it in go ahead and do that I'm sure you guys can do that and as you can tell I made a mess and hopefully you enjoy this part two of uh, building your computer I guess if you don't like it go away